Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. We have yet another awesome Epic Universe update for you. Thanks to Bio Reconstruct on Twitter. Definitely follow him for up-to-date amazing photos of all Orlando parks. We're going to start off with the Dark Universe today. But let's just take a look at this aerial photo real quick. Look how much progress you've seen week to week or every couple of weeks with these updates. Just so many things new uh, under construction. Things are almost completed. This is some great stuff. Universal is really hauling butt on this project. Let's start off with this week's update in the Dark Universe section. In the Dark Universe, formerly nicknamed Classic Monsters section, but Dark Universe is trademarked, you can see lots of progress on the entry portal. One of my favorite entry portals of the four themed lands because it seemed highly themed right now. And moving on, to the main ride structure, you can see a lot of scaffolding still up on there. There's even a new drink cart, a beverage cart being installed where the yellow arrow is. And the main uh, queue for the main e-ticket ride is to the left of that. And the coaster is just to the north of it. The coaster, or the drink stand, was supposed to be built where the coaster is, but the coaster obviously took its spot. So it moved the locations closer on along the, this main wide pathway here. It will snake in between the two lands attractions. Get more aerial look at the Dark Universe area. You can see the coaster was just about done with its themed show scene, the first one and only themed show scene. That barn still waiting to get its theming, um, its barn-like theming. And you can see the village, which will include a restaurant and some retail shops, to the about the top left of the picture there, and. The main e-ticket ride to the bottom, as well as the the windmill restaurant, which will be just to the south of the coaster right over there. Let's take a look, close look at the cl windmill room with the windmill restaurant. You can see the steel beam for the windmill being installed right now, and a lot of concrete walls. Rumor has it they're gonna make kind of like a mound or like a mountain. So it looks like you're entering through this secret door in the mountain, and the windmill is on top and it will look bigger using force perspective that's why that entrance door down in the middle is just so tiny and according to permits and rumors you'll at night the windmill will light up on fire as the townspeople will light up the windmill on fire and it'll be a cool nighttime effect which will be really nice checking in on epic universe's three hotels let's start off with the grand helios hotel Still not a lot of progress, still on the first level there. And this is the hotel at the back of the park. Again, this one will hopefully will start speeding up in progress as the months go on. Maybe we'll, when they finish up other projects in the hub, they'll really focus on this one. Moving up to the other two projects, which are to believe, I believe, are going to be called the Stella Nova and Terra Luna resorts, kind of sister properties like Cabana Bay and Dockside, or sorry, Dockside and Surfside. See, one of them is almost complete. These hotels will have 750 rooms each and will be sister properties. The other one will be in that dirt lot that's just below the completed structure. This was built with a prefabrication, so they built the actual rooms off site, then just stacked them on top of each other, which is a much faster construction method than the traditional construction method. And I assume that's what they'll do with the sister property as well down to the south. These hotels could actually open up if they wanted to potentially next year because again, they are almost done and they are off site. So uh, they don't require the actual theme park to be open. Moving on to the How to Train Your Dragon area, one of my favorite anticipate, most anticipated areas now because I've recently watched the trilogy for the very first time. Phenomenal series. You can find it on Peacock or YouTube and you can just buy rent it. It's so good. Definitely go ahead and watch How to Train Your Dragon if you haven't watched already. There will be a live action film coming out in 2025, which I'm sure it will coincide with the opening of this theme park and land. But looking at the portal, it's currently unthemed and sitting all by itself in the middle of a dirt plot. But there's a lot of themed things just to the uh, just ahead of it. You have the 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 statues being worked on, as well as some boats, some Viking boats behind them, as well as the last sections of the sections of the coaster to the right hand side so let's go let's go take a look at that coaster actually right now so here's the close-up shot of the station of the coaster you can see it's a dueling loading station right there which is great really increases 
capacity and uh, you know, efficiency there. We can see some footage for the potential extended key or outdoor key portion of this coaster as well. Um, can't wait to see what the theming on the station is going to look, look like. The rumored name for this coaster is Hiccup's Wing Gliders. That was one of the names that was trademarked by Universal recently. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what's going on with this coaster. And we should start seeing some theming in a couple of months. Some station building and theming. And yeah, a couple of months. Moving across the land to the Great Hall. This is nearly complete. At least the exterior. You can see the roof has been completely put on, which looks great. And it's uh, be the land's main restaurant. It'll be just like the one from the movies. Probably a massive quick service restaurant. Massive dining hall. And I cannot wait to see what we can eat here. Will they make it true and authentic to the movies? Oh gosh, I hope not. But, uh, I don't know. Who wants to eat like a Viking? Comment down below. Moving over to the theater, not much progress since our last update, but you can definitely see the pre-show areas in the holding room, the waiting areas, are fully complete, or fully roofed up. Now they're working on the main show building, main theater area. That should be all, all complete, I guess, within a couple of months. It seems like it's almost done. They put some concrete down on where the seating will be, so that is looking more permanent. And yeah, they just got to put the actual stage and then the roof, and they'll be all good to go there. Uh, again, this should be fully enclosed, certainly by the summertime. Here's a close look at what will be a lagoon for the entrance to the How to Train Your Dragon Land, which will be actually called the How to Train Your Dragon Dash Land of Burke or Isle of Burke. People should probably call it Burke or How to Train Your Dragon, but that is the official trademark name. You can see the boats getting some work done, which would be awesome. See some Viking boats in there. And the statues under scaffolding as they uh, work along. And uh, yeah, get ready for preparation. Can't wait to see this all filled with water and the coaster zooming through it as it's testing. You can see the coaster track right there. It goes right through the bay. And let's actually take a look, another look at that coaster and some theming elements happening and some rock work. Which would be really awesome. Taking, taking a look at this section where the coaster will dive, quote unquote, under the water. You can see the theming has begun on the rock wall there. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And you can see some green moss and starts to form at the top. Which looks absolutely fantastic. Cannot wait to see this coaster going. And, uh, yeah, it looks like a nice, decently long family coaster. They'll kind of wrap around the island of Burke, which are pretty awesome. Can't wait to see the themed elements as well of the coaster trains hopefully they're themed as dragons or as toothless that oh a toothless themed coaster would be pretty awesome at the time of filming this the super mario brothers movie has officially come out it's wednesday april 5th so it is appropriate of course we're talking about super nintendo world coming to universal studios orlando or epic universe and yeah this is certainly one of the most hotly anticipated lands because it'll be the full land and the biggest super nintendo world in the world Taking a look at the Mushroom Kingdom portion of the land, you see a lot of concrete has been filled up, which areas which were previously dirt are now full of concrete, which is great. That means the flooring can go in and they're making tons of progress there. Taking a look at the entrance to Mario Kart right here, this is where the big Bowser's head is going to be just like we have here in Hollywood. Uh, this will probably be bigger though. On this one, you're going to enter from the second level of the land, not the the, oh, we actually we enter in the second level, but you're going to enter on the second level, and the ride entrance will be on the second level, unlike here in Hollywood where we enter on the first level and you have to go upstairs. Scooching on over to Donkey Kong, you can see the temple-themed wall has started to crop up and expand. It looks pretty nice, as long there's the first lift hill as well being worked on, with quite a lot of themed elements going in and under the coaster and of course in the massive show scene inside that temple to the left of the coaster looking at yoshi you can see there's a door not a door but like a covering where you exit the show scene um coming out and finishing the omni mover portion of the track um that will be uh the lot the scaffolding will be removed so the clearance will look much better than it is right now but yeah, that is the one and only show scene, and it is looks to be almost complete. And as do another overview of the Mushroom Kingdom, you can see the entrance 
tunnel right over there, which will be the war pipe, and you take an escalator up to the top of the second level and enter through Peach's Castle. You can also see the exit tunnel for me all the way to the left hand side. You can do the classic exit through the gift shop or restaurant type of ordeal. And there's the Nintendo gift shop and a restaurant adjoining that to the right hand side. Everything looks absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, again, can't wait, can't wait to see and visit the full version of this land in just two years. Quick Starfall Racers update, no more tracks have been placed, or at least not much from the last time that I can notice, but a few more supports have been placed for that massive um, double barrel roll type of element that Universal patented. And other than that, the coaster is looking absolutely fantastic, and yeah, just lots of supports. Can't wait to see it all uh, complete and more tracks to be installed, but not too much of an update this week. But we do have a lot of big update from the hub ride that water carousel universal trademarked a name called constellation carousel and that is the rumor name of this flat ride here that is going to be under a glass dome in the hub you can see the uh, supports and water jets are installed in and around the attraction and concrete has been poured for the attraction as well universal filed a patent for this pinch ride system that looks like something uh like what would be in a mary poppins attraction where the horses come off the track and come back on the track which looks pretty interesting not sure if that's going to be used for this particular attraction but if it is that'll be certainly a unique type of carousel and lastly moving on to the wizarding world of harry potter not too much change on the outside here as a lot of the a lot of its inside show buildings but just more theming more scaffolding has moved along and some more facades for more steel for some more facades have popped up as well and more facades have popped up on on the more completed facades sorry have popped up on the side of the building in the show buildings and this confirms again as many of you know you'll be entering into the paris ministry of magic using the flu network to get into the Brit british ministry of magic doing the ride will be based on the harry potter films well the land will be based in fantastic on fantastic beasts should be a mega hit as always and again looks absolutely gorgeous the rumored second attraction was cancelled but there will be a theater as well so be the main e-ticket e attraction and a theater so well some restaurant and retail shops so that is it for this epic universe update a lot of progress happening on all over the park from the hub to wizarding world to isle of burke super nintendo world and the dark universe what is your most anticipated land are you excited for this park? What ride are you most what rumored ride are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more Epic Universe and Universal updates. You're the Theme Park Wizard and have a fantastic day.